Nation, how are you doing? It's me, Mr. R2, and welcome to the Sidewalk Steam Show. What's the Sidewalk Steam Show, you ask? Well, I'm glad you did. Let me tell you all about it. Each week, we're going to meet here for a demonstration, an experiment, or a cool creation. Your job each week is to receive a challenge by me, Mr. R2, to make something amazing. Once you've made your amazing thing, you can share it with the Integrated Arts team through email or through our Integrated Arts Facebook page. Now, on to the show. We have an amazing show for you today. In-house musical guest, the Jonas Brothers. I'm so sorry, Miss Nation. My producer just informed me that due to the shelter in place rules, the Jonas Brothers couldn't be here this week. I'll try to get someone awesome for next week, but that's okay. Let's get on to making something. Now, I've got my mystery bag here, and inside is going to be the subject of this week's challenge. I hope you're ready. Let's see, it is, drum roll please, a ball. But not just any ball. You see, a ball is made to move. And that is going to be your challenge this week. You are going to create, only with the materials in your house, a ball launcher. Hmm, I wonder what I can make. Hey, your pal! Hey, my name is Monet. the best oh okay sorry about that I forgot myself now first things first don't forget to use the altitude launch cycle to guide your thought process as you're working through this challenge you need to look listen and learn to gather your ideas you need to ask tons of questions understand the process or problem navigate your ideas create a prototype highlight and fix and when you're ready you can share your amazing creation. Now, as you can see, you can use just about anything. I've gathered some old paper towel rolls, some tape, uh, some popsicle sticks. Couldn't find rubber bands, but I borrowed my wife's hair bands. Don't tell Mrs. R2. I've got some scissors, got some hot glue, found some binder clips. These are great. And I actually made a couple of ball launchers here. And you don't have to use a ping pong ball like I did. You could use maybe a cotton ball. In fact, I used a cotton ball for my catapult here. Look at that go. Or look at this one. This is my cotton ball cannon. In fact, you can use just about anything to make an awesome ball launcher. Mm -hmm. Now, Moose, I know you're going to make something amazing, but I also want you to make something else, a connection. You see, there is something that's all around us right now that's going to help in building our ball launcher. Do you know what it is? It's energy. And in fact, energy cannot be destroyed. We know that as the law of the conservation of energy. But did you know energy can be converted from one form to another? Now, potential energy is the energy in a body due to its position. There's potential energy in this cotton ball because if I were to remove my hand, it could fall. There is potential energy inside this cup because if I were to release that spring, the ball could go flying. Now, here's where that transfer of energy takes place. I have potential energy, but as soon as that ball starts moving, it becomes kinetic energy. All right, my mini R2 is gonna help me out with a little experiment here. You see, when I pull this lever back, that ball is no longer moving, but it's full of potential energy. Now, when I let it go and it starts to move, the energy in that body in motion becomes kinetic energy. All right, Moose, the Integrated Arts team cannot wait to see what you make. If you need some ideas, you can check out this link right below the video, right here on the app, and it's gonna have all of the information and resources you need to make some amazing launchers. R2 out.